Had to make this one three minutes because there's going to be a lot to talk about here. And I don't want to leave anything out, but I feel like each individual match should not have their own thing because some were better than others. And over the course of this gauntlet match, it went from kind of poor to really, really good. So we have our 12 Days of Christmas gauntlet match. Here's the order of the individuals and the finishing maneuver or the finish of their respective match. Also, once again, the crowd was dead up until the end, so the end got a lot better because there was a lot more life to everything. Angel took on Mansoor, and it was a wing clipper for Angel to win. Angel took on Eric, and it was another wing clipper for the win. Angel took on Shanky, and it was a wasteland for Shanky to win. Shanky took on Ivar, and it was a Viking splash for Ivar to win. Ivar took on Seamus, and it was a bro kick for the win. Seamus took on Drew Gulak, and it was a quick bro kick for the win. Seamus took on Cesaro, and it was yet another bro kick after a Rich Holland distraction for the win. Seamus took on Ricochet, and it was a roll up for Ricochet to win, and a, actually a very good back and forth. Ricochet took on Humberto with a weird code breaker for the win. Ricochet took on Jinder Mahal, and it was a quick roll-up for Ricochet to win. And finally, Sami Zayn took on Ricochet, and it was a haluva kick after a great back and forth, a great exchange for the win. And Sami Zayn is the new number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion. Woo! That was quick, but like I said, it was kind of shit got really really bad in between there because shanky just can't wrestle fucking for goddamn anything and finally when ricochet sheamus cesaro and company got in there it just became 20 million times better and i just was okay with it at the very end um i feel like a gauntlet was unnecessary i wish they had more rivalries within it and people like Jinder Mahal, Shanky, and Drew Gulak shouldn't have been this match in the fucking first place. Um, I'll give it a thumbs up just because of the ending.